State. Ray Natilli, Rick Crawford, and Brooks Wells are officials. Biggest crowd of the season for Kansas State. And off we go. Kansas State winning back-to-back -back games over top 25 teams, Texas Tech and Texas. They have never won three straight against ranked teams. An opportunity today. Uh, yeah, an opportunity to validate what they have done uh, against your rival and the seventh-ranked team in the country in Kansas. Nigel Pack from the corner, a good start for Kansas State. Well, both these teams move it well in the half court, and they are at their best offensively when they do that. And Pack right there, you see one of the elite shooters in the conference with some space on that wing. And a foul away from the ball is on Davion Bradford. His first big matchup inside, right? Can Kansas State keep the struggles of David McCormick going? Which David McCormick is going to show up for Kansas? That is the question night in and night out. Yeah, is it the 19 points, 15 rebounds we saw against West Virginia? Or is it the McCormick that's held in check? That's important because if he plays well, it'll keep K-State from being able to play small, which they did in their win at Texas. That was very key for them. Off the offensive rebound by Browns. Juan Harris knocks down the three to tie the score. So McCormick missed his first shot, but a second chance opportunity. See the K-State starting five. Mark Smith, the only player who has started all 18 games for Kansas State. Started 0-4 in the league. Didn't have their full roster, didn't have their full coaching staff because of COVID protocols. But they have gotten rolling over the last week. Bradford inside, off the mark. McCormick rips it down. Harris the lob, and a budgie guides it through for his first points. Well, it's nothing new this year, Ted. Kansas terrific in transition, whether they turn you over or they clear the glass. And with basically playing four guards, any of Bill Self's players can clean it and start a break. Noel the wraparound. Bradford with the flush. We see the quickness of Noel right there, Ted. And he is a jet. And he has been making an impact not only on the offensive end by getting downhill, but he's great with pressure defensively disrupting opponents. First Weber told his bigs in practice as Abaji misses the jumper. McCormick the offensive rebound. That putback doesn't fall. McCormick sticking with it. Third opportunity and McCormick puts it in. And Bruce Weber told his bigs, we just need defense, we need effort, we need you to move your feet against McCormick inside. Such a key. Noel the step back. Well, that's exactly right. And you talked about the importance of McCormick today. But also those bigs for Kansas, particularly Bradford, because he has the size to lean on McCormick. Noel, the league leader in steals at two and a half per game. Grab the pass. Here's Selton Miguel on the way. Oh, the ground he hits. Selton Miguel has been searching for his offense as of late. Average just five and a half points, shooting 27% the last four. And scoring from him is just a bonus. He's a terrific defender. Sometimes, though, on the offensive end, he gets a little sped up. But that should give him some confidence. Jalen Wilson too strong. McCormick had it knocked out of his hands by Noel. He is a blur around Harris. He draws the foul. You know, Bill Self said it last night that Marquise Noel has totally changed who Kansas State is this year. Well, he's a jet. I mean, this is elite quickness. He goes right at Harris. Does a great job of bodying up and creating contact. The thing with Noel which has been better is he has to balance when to go fast and when to be under control and as long as his decision making is good and he and Pat for Kansas State can be out there together K-State's a whole different level offensively I like how associate head coach Chris Lowry put it to us earlier today for K-State Noel at 5'8 Pack at six feet. We call them our baby backcourt. And early in the year, we wondered, can we really play them together? Noel was coming off the bench 
early in the season, but they just realized this is Kansas State's best lineup. You know, most of the time when you're trying to play certain per personnel, it's not the offensive side of it that you're concerned about. It's how do we match up on the other end? And, and it could be a challenge today for K-State because Kansas' guards have length, they're athletic, and we'll see how that plays out for the course of the afternoon. Kansas coming in on a three-game winning streak since their only conference loss of the season at Texas Tech two weeks ago. Bill Self says, really, we haven't played that well in those three games outside of the second half against West Virginia last Saturday. Eight to shoot. Jalen Wilson stepped forward Tuesday night against Oklahoma. Brown with Miguel all over him. McCormick crashes hard. And a whistle. A foul against Kansas State. And an official timeout in Manhattan. Obviously, Dean Wade, Xavier Sneed was a class behind, but essentially was growing those guys. And that's what they think this group can be. Nigel Pack, uh, Selton Miguel, Lewis, who is unavailable this year, Davion Bradford. These are all second-year guys, and they've made improvement. And I think you've seen that, especially the last two games, when they've had everybody available. Taylor Wilson challenged by Casey Eziegu at the rim. K-State on the move. Miguel fumbled it out of bounds to Kansas. Now, Selton Miguel sent Bruce Weber a text at 1.30 a.m. Wednesday after the win over UT. Said, I'm sorry I'm not playing the way that I should. Weber's response, plus 13. His plus minus in the game. K-State outscored Texas by 13 points when he was on the floor. The best number on the team. Says, you are valuable, Selton. And I think that that, more than ever, is the biggest challenge maybe for coaches individually. You know, Bill Self, we talked to him last night a lot about that. These players put so much stock into making baskets. And obviously, that's the most fun part of basketball if you've ever played it. But there's so many things that are important. Miguel defends, right? When he's smart, he can drive it a little bit. But what he also does that is crucial to K-State, Ted, is he allows them to go small because of his ability to defend multiple positions. And that in itself is worth way more than 10 or 12 points. Miguel banks it in right on cue for Kansas State. You saw Bill Self a moment ago. It has been a trying week for him. His father and hero, Bill Self Sr., passed away late Thursday night. Abaji off the mark for three, rebound for K-State. Bill Self Sr., 82 years old. Self's dad has been dealing with multiple health issues in the last several years. Smith's layup is off the mark. Kansas has started three of ten from the floor. Remy Martin played just two minutes in the second half Tuesday against Oklahoma. And McCormick is fouled. And it's on Miguel. And you see Martin right there. And Bill Self, but the Jayhawks could get him going a little bit. Obviously, with the bruised knee, he hasn't practiced a ton over the last couple of weeks. Didn't play a lot the second half against Oklahoma. But they need him to be a Jet. Use his quickness. You know, Bill Sell told me, we were talking, it was years ago, Ted. It was 20 years ago. He said, I would take quickness over size any day of the week. And since that time, how's the game evolved? It's, it's, it's guard, more guard-oriented, perimeter-oriented, and quickness is premier. And that's what he needs Martin to do. Not necessarily score, get downhill, and make us more athletic. And the knee is fine at this point, according to the coaching staff. Martin with the deflection out of bounds, 13 on the timer. Suffered that bone bruise on his right knee Neva against Nevada, December 29th. And he put up big numbers, of course, at Arizona State. Was first team all Pac-12 a year ago, the leading scorer in that league. Preseason Big 12 player of the year is not going to be that at Kansas but he needs to be a playmaker. No, he's a playmaker for Kansas State. Boy, right there. Even though he was quick to it, Ted, it was under control. You see, his head was on a swivel. The help didn't rotate, and he just continued to flow to the rim. 
Abaji the drive and the runner is good. Ochai Abaji the leading scorer in the league with six. Yeah, we, we talk about his prolific three-point shooting, but only about half of his field goal attempts come from three. And you see why right there. If you don't have a good closeout, if you're not there on the catch, he's got the ability to put it on the deck and make you pay. Pack, nice feed inside, and Eziegu is fouled by sixth-year senior Mitch Lightfoot, who's in for McCormick. So Eziegu in his second year at K-State, the transfer from UTEP at the line. Coming off the bench. The last four games now. Back to Abaji. Yeah, here's it. So the closeout by McGurl, a little overzealous, but good first step right there under control. And that all that does is you show that, hey, look, if you have a poor closeout, I'm going to put go by you. And what does that do? That sets up what he's best at, that dead-eye three-point shooting on a later possession. And, Brendan, that's a testament to how Abaji has evolved. Now he can hurt you off the bounce. Well, and I tell you who else has Christian Brown. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, Brown is turning into a high, high level collegiate basketball player. This next step this year is he's taking less threes and he's putting on the deck going either way with that great size and strength. Here's one right here. Doesn't go. McCormick back in the game and with the stick back. So even though K-State's got the one-point lead right now, you have to like the energy and the confidence of McCormick here early on for Kansas. Noel, screen and roll. Bolton Lingard puts it in. Lingard playing in just his sixth game of the season. He has battled numerous injuries and contributing now for K-State. Noel... The feed to Pack. He throws another. His second three. Christian Brown left open. Right down the chute. Kansas a quick answer. Well, that's a big three because that gets the K-State students to quiet a little bit. But how about Noel? I mean, this is exactly what Bill Self was talking to us about. His elite quickness. And when he's making good decisions, he, he's creating first right now. Back, give it to him. His third from the corner pocket. One of the premier shot makers in the country, Nigel Pack. Masood the bump, called for the foul against Abaji. And we've got a timeout. Nigel Pack with nine. Of senior had tremendous charisma. He could capture a room. He had an infectious smile. And he had a way to make you feel like a million dollars when you visited with him. And if that sounds familiar, he passed those attributes down to Coach Seth. And he is, he is definitely like his father in that way. They were very close. And I know the family was able to be around him this week, which is a blessing. And I know Coach Seth was grateful for that. But uh, Bill Sr., incredible guy. And I always appreciate how great he was to me personally. Abaji with the scoop. He's got eight. Kansas within four here in the first half in Manhattan. Yeah, you played for Bill Self when he was an assistant at Oklahoma State under Eddie Sutton. You know the family so well. Pass with his fourth three for Kansas State. And the lead is back to seven. Bill Self told us last night, I'm so thankful for the values my dad taught me. I asked him, hey, can you give us an example? One of them, as McCormick hits the jumper, Bill Self Sr. could take the emotion out of decisions, but he could still be emotional. He could still have compassion. compassion. That always stuck with Bill Jr. Yeah, he, he could be honest when it's hard to be honest, right? And, and have that compassion. And I tell you what, the Sims family uh, likes to give one another a hard time, too. And uh, Bill Sr. was great at that. <laughs> Nigel Pack white hot here in the first half. He's got 14. He's knocked down all five of his shots from the floor. Brown in a crowd. Foul. And obviously, Ted, things are really flowing offensively for K-State as a group.
A lot of energy up front, starting with Noel. The ball's moving. Guys are getting shots within rhythm. But at some point, Kansas will settle in a little bit defensively. Those will quit falling. And the emotion of the game for K-State will settle in as well. And, and trust me, this will be a grinder. Another point to make is when K-State's tried to separate this guy on the line right here, remember the three he hit? To stop the momentum, and then what does he do right there, Ted? He drives it. I mean, that, so I, these are the things I see in Christian Brown as a veteran guy of making a play, smart play, and, and reading the tempo and even the crowd. Such a confident player this year as a junior. He hit the go-ahead three against Oklahoma Tuesday with 10 seconds. Bill Self told him later, that was like seven seconds too early. And Brown said, I knew it was good. What does it matter? Yeah, as long as it goes right. But, no, he, he is confident. I mean, he's a two-way player. He's got really good size. I mean, he's listed 6'7". Sometimes you get fibbed on that, but he, he's legit. I'll tell you what, K-State did a lot of movement towards the rim. Selton McKell's had a good start. Three for three, six points. Smith, good defense on Jalen Wilson. Pack with the steal. And Nigel Pack lays it in. Timeout for Kansas. Pack with 16 in the first half. Better than his by three points or fewer. Of course, all the absences because of COVID-19. They have their full roster in the last two games, and you see the results. Well, you, you couldn't not be tough and deal with be the point guard on a team that struggled last year in a COVID year, your, your freshman season. And then, you know, he and Mark Smith really held the ship together those first four conference games and didn't let them get too far down until they could get everybody back. Goldtend is the call. Lingard trying to rip it off the rim. It was in the cylinder. So count it for Abaji, who now has 10. So uh, we, we watch Kansas a lot over the years. I wouldn't be surprised if they settle in a little bit here defensively. K-State flowing on the offensive end. They've been crisp. Mikel fouled on his way to the rim. We have seen an aggressive Selton Mikel in this first half. But at some point, you know, if you're, you're Kansas, you have to understand, where, is, where can he hurt you? What's the only way he can hurt you with the basketball in his hands? And, and that's off the bounce, especially going right. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's exactly what he is telling his ball club. Miguel, confident, you know, hit that mid-range jumper on the baseline early in the game. And sometimes with guys who have struggled offensively, it just takes one. And then they're off and running. <laughs> Now, after the wins over Texas Tech and Texas, Bruce Weber was asked, how do you keep this team focused? Well, I mean, first of all, Kansas is next on the schedule. I think that's fairly easy to do. But he told his team at practice on Thursday, we have taken two big steps here, beating the Red Raiders and the Longhorns. We're still in last place in the league, guys. We still have a ways to go. Keep your focus. Keep your edge. Freshman K.J. Adams Jr. in the game for Kansas, 24 in the blue. Jalen Coleman lands in as well. Miguel the swipe. Kansas has turned it over five times in the first half. Catch and shoot, Mark Smith. And the Missouri transfer is scoreless here in the first half. Coming off a big game against Texas with 22 points and eight rebounds. Martin the dish, Brown catch and shoot. Good look right there. And I think that's a little bit of the Remy Martin that Bill Self wants to see. You don't get it to go. He got downhill, forced to help, and you get a good look from an excellent three-point shooter. Kansas State has made eight of their last ten. They're shooting 71% here in the first half. Six to shoot. Can Miguel create again? Pull up. Not really his game. And it's off target. Abaji. Definitely his game. He rattles in the three. 13 points for the senior. 
And Kasuki thinks he's there, but I'm telling you, you can't give him space. Of all the shooters, particularly in this league, he's the guy that makes more contested threes than anybody. Guys right up in it. reminds me a little bit of one of my teammates, a guy named Randy Rutherford at Oklahoma State. He, it's one thing to make open looks. It's one thing to just put guys in their face. Nigel Pack again. Nigel is nails. His fifth three. Wow. the kick. Coleman lands. And Bradford chases it down. And Bruce Weber slows his team down. You, you have the under eight media timeout coming up here. You, you want to make sure that you close this out in a positive manner. Pack finally misses from deep. Kazuki, the offensive rebound. Pack trying to follow and Brown clears it. Kansas is running. Abaji was forced into a tough shot there. Abaji on pack, under 10 to shoot. Kazuki. Triple and another timeout for Bill Self. Just the seventh May three this season for Kazuki. Well, Nigel and Bruce Weber is going to give him a little rest. You know, you listen to Bruce Weber talk about Pack prior to the season. It was, you know, he had a really good freshman year under tough circumstances. What was the next step? And it was individual plays. You know, him being a little more aggressive, and he is certainly doing that here this afternoon. Jump ball. Kansas will have it with the alternating possession. So, again, pack on the bench, coming out of the timeout. What is the adjustment for Kansas? Well, they've got to, you know, you've got to extend the floor and find shooters. I mean, they're, they are not being as sound as typical Bill Self teams would be. And I, I'd even go back to the drives from Miguel. You know he's a driver. The only way that he can really hurt you is Adam. But he's been able to get to the rim. Noel in transition, easier said than done. You've got to pick him up high. Once you get that basket protected, you've got to pick him up, bluff at him, and veer him off to get him under control. I think if Kansas can get them back in a more of a half-court setting, they'll be fine. But they've got so much rhythm and flow, if Kansas has not been able to disrupt it yet. We had a brief stoppage to check out the shot clock. Got it sorted out. Under 10 to shoot. McCormick too strong. McCormick does have six. He's three of six from the floor to go with eight rebounds. Yeah, he, he's been getting really good position, but you get a guy that deep, and McCormick's got to finish those inside, those buttons. This time the wraparound feed by Noel is stolen by Christian Brown. McCormick, strong move, and he's fouled. Kansas has not scored in two and a half minutes as Kansas State has built its largest lead. Well, Kansas, when McCormick is there, in there, they're going to run plays through him. And it was a low post touch, last possession right there. They cleared out that right side and a little pick and roll. Maybe a little help from the official. And you get the sense just how frustrated everyone around the Kansas program, certainly the fan base is with McCormick, now a senior, finished last year so well, was the most improved player in the league. And again, after being so dominant last Saturday against West Virginia, when he had 19 points and 15 rebounds, Bill Self said he played like a man today. We have to bottle that. What he has to do, like, like I see a lot of young players now today, is they let stretches where they don't play as well or don't convert or something. Just to let them let it affect them too much mentally. I mean, he's a force when he gets there. I, I just think that he loses his confidence. He hasn't been perfect this afternoon. K State or Kansas is down ten, but plenty of time, obviously. But I do like his motor. And the eight rebound certainly is encouraging. Harris stepped out. Still K-State ball. 
Mike McCurl has not scored. The fifth-year senior has given K-State a jolt in their last two wins. Smith the no look. Ish Masood, the Wake Forest transfer. And McCormick with the hustle play to save it. That's what Kansas wants to see. And Masood has got to be a guy that just lets things come to him. He's got to let the ball find him. Kansas will definitely take a jumper out of Masood in terms of K-State's offense. Brown drives past Masood, met by Bradford, and the foul is called. Hey, this right here is the continued transformation of Christian Brown. I mean, that's right, back to left, create contact, doesn't get it to go, but gives it a chance. Again, had the rep coming out of high school. Hey, great shooter. Now he's attacking closeouts. He's making plays off bounce. Well, and the other thing about Brown, I mean, we talk so much about Abaji, and we should. But Brown, he rebounds. He's one of their best rebounders. He's a three-assist-a-game guy. I mean, he touches all of the stat sheets. He's third in the Big 12 in blocks. In blocks. Imagine that. Well, I, I alluded to it earlier. You know, when you go up to him, you know, a lot of times on the uh, roster, you get an inch or two to make yourself look tall. He, he's all of 6'7". I mean, he, he's legit. So he's got great size and really good athleticism to go. Noel downhill. Pack. He's loved that move in the first half. Six triples for Pack in the first half. He's got 22. And an offensive foul for Kansas. Pack's career high was against Texas A&M last year. 26. He's got 22 here in the first half. Well, you know, once a guy makes some shots, Ted, it's that level. You, you need no space. That was pretty good recovery to contest by Kansas right there. And you would think that when he went to the bench for a rest, he might cool off, but he has not. Here he goes again. This time over Harris. Oh, it's an air ball. Where did that come from? Wilson steps into it. That's a three. Jalen Wilson's first points today. Well, assuming Kansas defends, I mean, you look at their perimeter. Abaji, Brown, who we've been talking about. You get Jalen Wilson going, too. Marquise Noel. The ball nearly touched the rafters. He's got a chance at a three-point play. John McNeil at West Virginia, pure shooter. L.J. Cryer makes tough shots. And then my man right here making us look good, putting him on that list. I mean, Nigel Pack. He's going to want you to bump him up the list for yeah, this first half. Yeah, need to. But he, he, he's square. So all these things matter. They all have great footwork. They all have um, good follow-through. There's good balance. It's the same look every time. Some of it is natural ability, Ted. And the other part of it is just hard work. And, and these guys are elite shooters in the league. And foul as he got it back. It'll go against Pack. So what, what Kansas, and Bill Self's been through this a million times, what, what they have to do offensively, if, if they don't get anything to transition, is get downhill. So you see Harris right here get downhill. And then defensively, they, they've got to shore it up. And obviously, the basket is expanded for Casey. Everybody's making shots, even Pack. But, but you have to find a way to negate that. And then you dip into this, right? You get it down to six or eight and survive that storm, you go to halftime and regroup. And it is a storm from the team that has the worst scoring offense in the Big 12 entering the weekend, Kansas State, averaging just 68 points per game, and they're shooting 62% from the floor. Smith 
Too strong in the rebound for Kansas. Abaji. Offline. Rebound. And heading the other way. It goes against Jalen Wilson fighting for the offensive rebound. Yeah, his first. Good, yeah, sorry, Ted. Pretty good look right there from Abaji. He looked like he was fading a little bit to his left. And not as typical straight up and down like he is. And you're going to see Wilson come over the top. No question right there. Hits the girl in the back. Doesn't this first half show you the quality of the Big 12? Kansas in first place. K-State in last place coming in. And it's a 10-point Wildcat lead. There's, there's not one bad team in the league. And, and all 10, you know, night in and night out, game in and game out, are really good defensively. Smith in the lane. Still scoreless. Abaji trying the outlet. Pack the interception. Noel. Again, the crafty scoop. He is a stick of dynamite. Steals, Noel, no look, Mark Smith is on the board. And another timeout for Kansas. Largest lead of the day here in the Octagon. Bob Huggins said going into that game, Mark Smith is the transfer that has transformed Kansas State. They're so much better with him. We talked to Bill Self last night. Marquise Noel has totally transformed Kansas State. They're a totally different team with Noel. They hit big on both. Yeah, it, both those can be true, right? And they all. Jalen Wilson for three. Approaching the final minute of the first half. Kansas has made just one of its last eight shots. Brown watching Noel. Bradford inside. Wilson working hard. And a tie-up. Kansas State ball with the alternating possession. Seven on the timer. Here's, I think this is the last possession, yeah. Okay, State. I mean, Bruce Weber wanted something. That's a good screen right there from Adams. Noel pops right back up, though. Seven to shoot. Noel to inbound. Noel guarded by Adams. The flip. Oh, acrobatics. Marquise Noel in double digits. Wilson in jail. Out to Abaji. And the long rebound for Pack. The shot block is dark. I think Noel's going to drive it right here, Ted. And he's been getting into the paint at will. Screen from Bradford. Adams meets him. Miguel has to create. And it's an air ball at the buzzer. Miguel wanted a foul. No call. Kansas State still scores the final six points of the half. Nigel Pack going off. Right on the cuff, but of the great Kansas team, even though they're seventh in the country, they're going to have a great year. They're lacking that just a little bit. And where does that show up? Most defensive end of the floor. And so that's what he wants to see. It stops out of the gate. you got to run pack off the line. And you got to do a better job of containing Noel out front. Foul on Nigel Pack. 11 seconds in to the second half. That's his second. Yeah, the words activity and competitiveness have been used quite often by Bill Self in the early part of conference play. He told us last night, I, I like that we've been able to cut out wins, yes, against Iowa State, against Oklahoma recently. Abaji catch and shoot. Off the mark, but a foul on Selton Miguel.
three free throws coming up for Abaji. But I self said, I feel like there's something missing from our team. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it is competitiveness. We have a chance to be really good. We're not there yet. Yeah, and he, he doesn't sense any unselfishness within the guys. But maybe they haven't quite bought into winning ugly, particularly on the road, right? Well, they need offensive plays down the stretch against Oklahoma to win that one. And obviously today, you have to give K-State credit. They were tremendous offensively, but Kansas never pushed back, right? And, and so you, you got to get stops. you got to attack the glass. you got to get 50-50 balls. That's the ugly part of the game that's got to improve for Kansas. Abaji, a 74% foul shooter, has missed the first two. Number three. He went 0 for 3. Wilson trying to save it into the hands of McCormick. Harris too strong. Wilson, the persistence pays off for the Jayhawks. You know, a great job of Kansas right there. Uh, multiple misses continuing to attack the offensive glass. K-State just basically got in a jumping contest with him on that end. Didn't put bodies on the Jayhawks. Well, the drive against Abaji. McCormick and Abaji swallow him up. It's out of bounds. It'll still be K-State ball. And there's got to be an adjustment for Kansas on those drives by Noel. Well, you saw two big bodies trailing. Down. The other thing you have to take away when he gets deep is the habit pass along the baseline when he leaves his feet. Pack guarded by Harris. Seven for Pack. He's got 25. And Jalen Wilson draws the foul at the other end. I mean, this is unbelievable because you have that first half that he did, and, and then can you do it a second half? And this is a heat check coming out of halftime, Ted. And that's an individual play. Such a sound, smart player. We talked about how he was his freshman year last year, solid, soft-spoken. And the next step for him is go make plays. You're an elite guard in this league. Take more risks. Take some chances while still understanding time and score. And he is, he's doing that at a high, high level this afternoon. I remember Bruce Weber saying last year when Pack was a freshman, we love his Indiana fundamentals. Such a quick release on that shot. And it's been target practice for Pack today. Delon Harris trying to stick with Pack at this end. Abaji guarding Noel. Seven to shoot. Bradford. The hook goes. Davion Bradford with his second basket. And what Noel is doing, or he did right there, and he did the first half, Ted, as he's driving to create help. That's it's a pass first game he's playing with this afternoon. Abaji connects from downtown. His second three, just two for six for one of the top ten three-point shooters in the country. But he's got 16. A drive, and he's looking to create because he drags McCormick down, and then Bradford makes himself available. Nice job going over the right shoulder, and then you can't go behind. Even though you're up, things are going well, you have to be sound defensively, especially in a body. You go behind the screen, he'll make you pay every time. McCormick sets the screen. McCormick wants it. Over Bradford, tough angle. Abaji, the putback. Ochai Abaji follows the three with the stick back. And you, and you have three, four Jayhawks right now, Ted, attacking the offensive glass. That's 11 offensive rebounds now for KU. 
Well, again, into the teeth of the defense. This time, Abaji rips it away. Oh, it's a tie-up. Kansas State ball with the arrow. Well, we, we talked about it. What does winning ugly look like? And, and this is it. Get a pretty good look inside. It doesn't go from McCormick. Look at those bodies in there. You have four blue jerseys attacking the offensive glass. There's Abaji. Tough rebound, tough finish. Again, you want activity. You want competitiveness. If you're Bill Self, that is one way to show it at the offensive end. Can they get more of that at the defensive well, I, end? I'll tell you this last possession, and it seems like a simple thing, Ted, but which direction did the Jayhawks force Noel? To the left. And, and, and they've got to take that right away from him because he's way more effective in the half court going downhill right. Officials are checking out the shot clock situation. 14 on the timer for Kansas State after the tie-up. Noel to put it in play. Harris hounding Pat and a foul. Well, Harris is trying to be here on the catch, and, and he's got his hand on that back hip. That's what he got in trouble. Bill Self is talking to Raina Tilly about a hook, but the hands on the body of Pack, that happened first. It's Harris's second. Kansas' best on ball defender, but Nigel Pack, such a tough cover. Mikel, floater doesn't drop, lost his headband. And still K-State ball, fresh 20 seconds on the shot clock. Right there, Ted, I'm telling you, you can't let Miguel drive it. I mean, you close out on him, you should have a cushion. Noel, on the out-of-bounds play, got a good look, couldn't bury it. Got a foul on Bradford. Trying to deny David McCormick. Well, That's the third. And you talked about what does Kansas need to do, and, and the obvious thing to say, which we did, was get stops. But you want to treat with only having one timeout left. Each four-minute segment, getting to the under 16 media timeout, you want to win the first couple. And if you think about it, if Kansas does that, then you get inside the 12-minute mark. And the game's probably inside 10. Now, we got a long way to go from there. That's what you're thinking. Win these first two segments, and then let's regroup and see where we are. Abaji, release. And Miguel Soares for the rebound. Abaji is the only Jayhawk in double figures with 18. Noel, the speed, the flip. Easy Marquise Noel put such stress on the defense. Fouls on McCormick. Yeah, and he's doing a great job of dragging the bits. I mean, he drives them deep towards the base. And look how deep he gets. Here's McCormick. There's Abaji. And then Easy Agu. He's patient. He lets Noel get down there, and then he flashes and gets himself moving towards the rim. We talked to Chris Lowry, Kansas State's associate head coach, this morning. He said, you know, Noel's always been the lead dog. That's what he was at Little Rock last year. Now he's playing with other players as good as he is. Yeah, and, and that's why it took him some time. He, he wasn't used to that. And it's always been about decision-making. It's never been about lack of ability with Noel. Wilson for three. In and out. McCormick, another offensive rebound. Brown. Wilson. Kansas is crushing Kansas State on the offensive glass. And let me tell you, David McCormick keyed that whole sequence right there. He, he, he gets the first one, kicks it out to Brown, which is a good look off an offensive rebound. And then he kept that other one alive. Now you look at some of the advanced metrics. McCormick is one of the elite offensive rebounders in the nation. Noel, long two, it was halfway down. McCormick has his 11th rebound. Five on four if they hurry. Pack quickly enters your picture. 
Abaji walled off. Brown, the floater. That's good. Christian Brown started one for six. Kansas has sliced the deficit to eight, forcing a timeout from Bruce Weber. Kansas was down at 16. Kansas State led by 16 at the half. But Kansas, with their work on the offensive glass, they have outscored K-State by eight so far in the second half. It's an eight-point game. Well, that's uh, embracing playing ugly, right? I mean, that's it's defend, rebound, take care of it. Right? Have five offensive rebounds. Six of the 13 points they have are second-chance points. And they've only turned it over one time. And the thing with K-State, they have to match that physical nature of Kansas. Back short on the long two, and it's out to the Jayhawks. And we'll step aside. Sunflower showdown here in Manhattan. Pounding the glass. It's, it's multiple Jayhawks. There's four right there. K-State is not being disciplined, finding bodies and blocking up. Next McCormick right there. He's been at the center of it. Even at his size, he's been leaving his area to go retrieve the rebound or keep rebounds alive. Jalen Wilson puts it in. Kansas within six. 13 offensive rebounds for KU. 15 second chance points in the game. And that's classic Bill Self out of the timeout right there. Nobody better than Bill Self in getting a good look coming out of the timeout. That was, that was an easy one for Wilson. Selton Miguel is fouled. And Jalen Wilson picks up his second. You know, I talked about it in the first half that this game would settle in at some point. And it took a while, right? Because K-State, the way they shot it and how they were offensively, well, it's settled in now. And so K-State has got to really be disciplined. I mean, you have to expect these grinders and they've got to find a way to get downhill better and create some more offense here it is right here that, well that's just a that's just lack of communication right there by k-state on that possession leaving wilson and we were at shoot around this morning bruce weber gathered his team at the end about five hours ago he said kansas is so mentally tough it's why they're so good year after year after year we have to be mentally tough today. We have to make the simple play time and time again. I think that message rings true now as Kansas is on the comeback trail. Harris, tough angle. Wilson got a piece of it. Loose ball. A rugby scrum. And a jump ball. Kansas ball with the arrow. And a pretty good look from Harris right here. Just misses it, but because of the rotation of Easy Agu, that leaves Kansas on that back side with the ability to keep that alive and keep the offensive possession alive. Under 10 to shoot. Harris drives the close out from McGurl. The lob to McCormick. Offline and a rebound for Mark Smith in Kansas State. Had the right idea, just could not connect. Yeah, just a little off timing there. But K-State really good help oriented defensive team away from the ball. You saw that on multiple spots during that defensive possession. Eziegu open momentarily. McCormick, the hustle play, the deflection. Well, I think we know which version of David McCormick Kansas is getting today. I mean, he's had great energy from the beginning. I mean, he's had some opportunities down low, particularly the first half where he didn't finish. But he has been a warrior on the glass once again. 12 boards. Abaji tips it out. Still Kansas State ball. 10 on the timer. And Remy Martin returns. Now McCormick now with his fourth double-digit rebounding game of the season. Pack drives against Martin. The foul! The bucket! Nigel Pack is going nuclear! A career-high 27 with a chance for one more. 
Well, if it's the first time you've seen him play, with what he's done from three-point range, Ted, you think he's just a three-point shooter. He is not. He's got both of them. Boy, he just goes right through a couple Kansas defenders. You know, and, and Martin was out of position right there. Obviously, you want to meet him at the three-point line. But a guy that's a three-level player, Ted, I mean, you got to be there on the catch. I mean, it's easier said than done, but you got to contain and contest. And Martin was out of position there. Max got 28 on 13 shots. Just ridiculous. Brown fouled on his way to the basket. It's on McGurl, his second. Little momentum by K-State. And then who for Kansas makes the play. It's, it's, Brown, it's Brown again on the drive. I'm telling he he is connected and has high IQ and understanding. You get a little ball movement right there, and he needs at his size just a small angle because he is so good right now at creating body contact as he's trying to get to the rim. Missed the first free throw. Brown with eight points on two of seven shooting. And Kansas has struggled a little bit this afternoon from the line. Nine of 15 as a team. Kansas with pressure. Noel turns the corner. Easy ankle, blocked, but foul going up. That's on Jalen Wilson, his third. Hey, this is a deep quickness right here. Abachi's going to go behind, but he but he relaxed. You got to go behind Ted, and you got to beat him to the spot. And then once he turns the corner, draws help, and then he has seen the floor so well today. Again, he, he is a pass first point guard this afternoon. How many times have we seen him drive the paint with the wrap around in mind? And Kansas hasn't quite adjusted yet. K State fans wanted to travel, no whistle. You know, Martin can be a playmaker. Can he emerge in the second half? to shoot. Wilson defended by Smith. Abaji puts it up. Kansas doesn't get a shot off. A lot of contact. Bill Self hollering at officials. Hey, wait a second. No whistle. Kansas State with the stop. Boy, that is a tremendous defensive possession. Kansas multiple times trying to turn the corner, but the help is there. And this is so late in the shot clock. McCormick knows he doesn't have much time. Shot clock expires. And that's a big stop for the Wildcats. Again, Brendan, when you pair the defensive intensity and discipline of Kansas State with the shot making that they have put on display, Kansas State's an NCAA tournament team. If you want to be honest, in terms of the eye check, you know, if Oklahoma State were eligible, I mean, those are 10 of the top 68 teams in the country in this league. McCurl misses at the end of the shot clock. McCormick with another rebound. And you have to remember, this is only the third game K-State's had their entire roster available. A turnover. Noel. Again off the bounce. Circus shot doesn't fall this time. Wilson in transition. Fouled. Count it. Plus one for Jalen Wilson. And a timeout in Manhattan. Well, Nigel Pack is having a career. The third game they've been available. And, and, and the two they were available together. They beat top 25 teams. They lose to Marquette here in December without Nigel Pack. The first two conference games, you don't have Noel. You think, if you're watching Noel today, do you think he would have made an impact the game in Norman or the game here against Texas? So, a little bit. 
<laughs> maybe. And those were one possession games too. All three of those are one possession games. If you win two of those two, I mean they're comfortable right now. Can never right. So I think it's obviously a lot of work to do. This league, there's always opportunity. I mean, every game for a, for a quality win. Every road game you have is a quad one opportunity. So with a committee, how deep are they really going to look into that stuff? And I know it's going ac uh, across the country like that. It's difficult. It's a lot of information. But this team, in terms of how they play, how good they are, yeah, it's an NCAA tournament team. It's just can they make up the hole that they're in? Smith, no. Lingard trying to follow. He's fouled. It'll go against Brown, his first. Yet yeah, everybody in the Big 12 is in the top 64 of the net. Everybody's in the top 60 of Ken Palm. The league is the best in America. It's that simple. Two shots coming up for Smith. And the officials are sorting out, should it be Smith at the line or should it be Lingard? I believe. I think Lingard was the one who was trying to put it back in when the whistle blew. And they have said 12. I can read lips, believe it or not, Brendan. And uh, Rain Attili says, yeah, 12 should be at the line. Carlton Lingard, Jr., who is two of six this season. Again, very small sample size. He's battled injuries in his young career. So here are the net rankings. Again, every time you go on the road in the Big 12, like you said, Brendan, it's a quad one win opportunity. The best kind of win for your resume. And, you know, Kansas, number seven in the net, currently the highest ranked two seed, according to Joe Lenardi. Yeah, it's late January, but Kansas could move to that top line with a victory. Yeah, and a lot of that, I mean, how much is it going to shift? There's not going to be big swings in where these teams end up. Because they're all playing one another. Yes. And then you, you have the SEC Big 12 Challenge later this month on Saturday the 29th. And most of those matchups are high level. Of course. And, and so, look, we follow the league a long time. There's always seven or eight really, really good teams. And it's not unprecedented that the league has gotten seven in the NCAA tournament. 70% of the league. That was last this year. year. Yeah, this year's just different because literally all the time. Nigel Pack secures it for Kansas State. Pack with a career high 28 points today. The step back against Martin Long. Rebound for Lightfoot. Wilson, Aaron Pass, Harris saved it. Ten to shoot. Brown, catch and shoot. Wilson fighting for it and a foul. Mark Smith hits the deck along with Wilson and the foul. Goes against Smith, his third. You know, we've talked a lot about how McCormick for Kansas has kept possessions alive. Watch Wilson go get it there. Uses his size over McGurl. This miss right there. He leaves the baseline and runs this down and beats Mark Smith. The Big 12's leading rebounder. And that's the kind of stuff it takes, right? I mean, Brown gets a good look. He's going to make a lot of those. You miss it. Go chase down that long rebound. In and out from Wilson. Oh, heading almost over the table was Lightfoot. Kansas State ball. Well, you're always going to get this from Lightfoot. Just glad he... He landed his legs on those padding, which was fortunate. You know, Kate, the, the, the Jayhawks, it's had, well, they, they're 10 of 18 from the free throw line. Right now. And you just think of shooting it more normal like they do. 71% on the season. Good for fourth in the league coming in. Now away from the ball. And it's on Mark. So a one and one opportunity for K State. Oh, 
Back at the line for only second time today. The efficiency has been off the charts from Pack. 29 points on 14 shots. 10 of 14, 7 of 9 from 3, and 2 of 2 at the line. He's gotten four rebounds. He and Noel were smaller guys. He'll get back in there and get some boards. The good thing about Pat coming in, Ted, is actually he's averaged 15 and a half a game, but his high coming into the season was just 21. Just that alone tells you how consistently good and efficient he is every game. Not many off nights for Nigel Pat. Not many from Abaji either. He feeds Lightfoot for two. Well done by Abaji creating. Yeah, great drive right there. And that's a couple of guys that have spent a lot of time together at Kansas. Lightfoot did a really good job of making himself available. Lightfoot collapsing underneath. Taking the charge. That's number three on pack. Like a lot of block charge plays, Ted, they're bang bang. What do you think? Yeah, they're either way right there. Does he leave the floor? That's tough. Probably a block. So back with three. He remains in for Kansas State. Martin trying to break down the taller Masood. Another offensive rebound. This one from Harris. Count it. For Kansas. Dewan Harris swooping in for the offensive rebound and the putback. Here's Martin. Probably not the shot exactly Bill Self wanted, but Harris, good drive right here. He didn't shy away from the bigger Bradford coming over to contest. That's exactly what you want to do when you're smaller. You got to go right at their chin. Nice finish right there. Six point game. It's going to count no matter what with Bradford slapping the backboard. Masood, defender off his feet. And Abaji corrals it. Kansas within six. They were down 16 at the break. Martin whistling his way to the basket for two. Now a four point game. That's exactly what Bill Self wanted to see from him today. Yeah, what were the word, the D word he said to you and I last night? Downhill. It was downhill. Said, go be the fastest player on the floor, Remy. That's exactly what Self told him coming in. Miguel swings the ball. Self and Miguel in double figures with 11. Abaji slashing. He lays it home. Abaji now with 20, the Big 12's leading scorer. Well, when he caught on that right wing, you could see he immediately noticed Noel. And he's got that great first step. And once he got by Noel, he was in business. Knocked out of the hands of Bradford. Harris is a menace defensively. Martin, NBA range. Right foot the offensive rebound. Abaji, short. Again to right foot. Martin tees it up. And finally secured by Kansas State. How many good looks did Kansas have that trip? <laughs> Could have cut it to one. Miguel with Abaji defending. Barreling. Lost it going up. And Harris has it for KU. Bruce Weber almost out on the floor. Harris almost collided with him. Now, much better individual defensive assignment from Abaji on Miguel. Foul on the floor uh, against Kansas State and Marquise Noel, his second. Timeout in the Little Apple. Well, to come back in the second half, they had to uh, day after day. Well, Hall of Famer has the experience. He's been through a ton of these.
And, you know, so many coaches, most of them, they're great at preparation. They're great at implementing, you know, what they do at both ends of the floor, teaching. But I tell you something that Bill Self has that, that if I'm being honest, not all coaches have. He has tremendous feel within a game. Who to play, what to run, what combinations to have, how to match up. And, and that's even after you go and you, you prepare a certain way. But inevitably, every game, you have to adjust on the fly. Substitution pattern. You know, coming into this half, only having one timeout. He's as good as there is, just at feeling through situations. And he has worked his team back into a two-possession game after being down 16 at halftime. And it's a one-possession game after the free throws by Jalen Wilson. Back with a career-high 30 today. Smith the drive. Noel beat set. Out of bounds and last touch by, I believe, McCormick. Oh, wait a second. One official was pointing one way initially, the other was pointing the other. It's Kansas State ball. Now, Rick Crawford pointed that direction, and <laughs> I, think McCor I think McCormick was uh, trying to confuse everybody. He went down to the offensive in the floor. Can't yeah, it's blame, our ball. Can't blame him for trying. Knocks another one down. His eighth three. A clinic from Nigel Pack, who has 33. Space and he lays it in. Kansas back to within three. Yeah, great job of Harris right there. Kansas loves to drive middle. They, they get to the heart of the defense. Make you commit. A lot of times up the floor and then Brown's wide open underneath. Good answer bucket to the tray from Packham. The last possession. Bradford sets the screen. Pack launches again. Too much on it. Rebound. It'll be solid if you can just right here. You can't gamble as the shot clock winds down. Noel turns the corner again. Going reverse. Another circus shot from Marquise Noel. It really is the octagon of doom again. Martin can't quiet the crowd. Loose ball picked up by Smith. And he lost it. Ted Howell, unbelievably good, has his K-State backcourt in. I mean, you, you have the shooting from Pack today. You have the ability of Noel to break down Kansas defensively. And then he's, I mean, he's made... Three shots over Biggs. That were almost impossible. Now trying to stick with Christian Brown. Fighting through the screen. He slapped it out of his hands. 16 on the shot clock for Kansas. Good drive right here. But Noel. Good hands. Basically erases a, a pretty seemingly good opportunity for Brown to get to the rim. Harris looking for a target and a foul against Selton Miguel. That's his third. So three on Miguel, three on Smith, three on Pack, and three on Bradford. No, you're deep enough into the game if you're Bruce Weber. You go with your guys right here. No need to protect anybody. With 435 left in the game. I'll tell you what. Bruce Weber has his teams as prepared as any coach that, that I'm around. I mean, he, he is a true 
teacher of the game. And I, I think sometimes in a league full of elite coaches, I don't, know, I don't know if people appreciate how good he is and, and how he's held this team together, you know, and, and look what they're doing the last three games. It was just a few weeks ago the job security questions were bubbling up again. Mark Smith said last week, we're mad. We see the talk online. We need to start getting wins for Bruce Weber. They followed it with wins over Texas Tech and Texas. to six. Pat strips Brown. Four minutes remaining. And a, a nice job. Smart of Bruce Weber to slow them down. You're going to get to the under four media timeout here. You, you need a solid possession if you're K-State. Noel around the screen. Weaving through traffic this time. It doesn't go. Harris in transition. Into deep. McCormick. Emphatic. Four point lead. Really good play by McCormick because in transition, he was up above the elbow, saw Brown in trouble, flashed, and made himself available. That's a big basket right there. Can Kansas stick with Noel defensively? Or Nigel Pack for that matter. Career high 33. Defended by Brown. Right down the shoot. 35 for Pack. Abaji fouled. Nigel Pack enjoying the game of his life. The scoring comes, let it come. And he has certainly done that and played off of what Pack has done, his backcourt mate. Known as the baby backcourt. That's what associate head coach Chris Lowry has dubbed them. Both six feet or shorter. Abaji misses the first free throw. That has been a story for Kansas today. 14 of 23 at the line as a team. And he splits the pair. Abaji just three of seven at the strike. Again, can Kansas stay in front of Noel? Haven't been able to do it all game. Mark Smith has been quiet offensively. Six to shoot. Abaji guarding Mikel. Step back. A brick. A really good stop right there. Not letting Smith get to the rim. Is really sound and solid from the Jayhawks. And that's that's a big one on the defensive end. McCormick stepping out. And Smith, the Big 12's leading rebounder, coming in, corrals it. Nearing the two-minute mark. Noel finds a wide-open Miguel. One dribble. Almost had too much time. Now with 1.45 to go, remember, Kansas only one timeout remaining. They used three in the first half as K-State build a 16th point lead. Foul on the perimeter. And it's on Kansas State. And Bradford has fouled out. points, two rebounds, a couple of assists for the sophomore from St. Louis and Casey Eziegu comes in. Now Kansas State hasn't gotten that much production out of their bigs really all year, but that is a bigger body to deal with McCormick on the interior. Yeah, and you know, part of production is it's not just the offensive end, it's defensive end. And Easy Agu, these, these are 
it is a big minute 39 potentially for him. If McCormick makes this, you get to the one possession game. And if Kansas gets a stop, they come back down, Ted, and they don't get any transition, they're going to run their stuff through McCormick, right? especially now with Bradford out of them. But first things first for the Jayhawks. They've got to get a stop right here on this defensive possession. McCormick with 11 points and 14 boards, his third double-double in six Big 12 games. Three-point K-State lead under 90 seconds. Kansas State is looking to win three in a row against ranked opponents for the first time ever. Noel splits the defense. Guarded by Abaji. Smith. Air ball. And McCormick grabs it for Kansas. Down by three. Apache for the tie. He is fouled. Miguel Submarines, the Big 12's leading scorer, and Abaji steps to the line with a chance to draw Kansas even. Right, here, look, here's the handoff from McCormick to Abaji. Boy, Ted, did, did, did he slip? And then he hit, watch him hit the right foot of Abaji. Yeah. Came off right there. The contact with McCormick. They're not going to call that at this stage of the game. And it's really unfortunate. He loses his footing. And you protect those shooters, especially at the feet, Ted. So that's an unfortunate play defensively for Bruce Weber and his team. And the officials say that Abaji is actually shooting two instead of three, and Bill Self is irate. It was initially called a three as Abaji let it go. Abaji has struggled at the line today. He knocks them both down. It's a one-point game with 55 seconds left. Okay, now let's look at Abaji's feet. Yes. Oh, yeah. Clearly behind. He's behind it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Kansas State by a point. And a timeout for Bruce Weber and Kansas State with 38 seconds left and 13 on the shot clock. I, I don't know what the officials missed there. I would love an explanation. Honestly, I think Kansas... You, you, you can't gamble, particularly on Pack and Noel. I mean, you, you've got to defend individually at a high level if you're Kansas. It's a Noel, who has 16 points and 6 assists. It's a drive on Brown, rejected, out of bounds. 8 on the shot clock. Christian Brown, the third leading shot blocker in the Big 12. Brown did a nice job once Noel turned the corner, not letting contact get created. Lob it into McCurl, who has not scored. Noel launches. First ball. Scooped by Harris. Shot clock turned off. Kansas down a point. Abaji, the leader. Kansas has its first lead since it was 7-5. to five. Final seconds, pass. Six tenths of a second remaining. Kansas completing its uphill climb from down 16 at the half. Same play as we just went over, but Abaji counters it. Instead of coming over the top, reverses directions. And smoothly avoids the contact and gets that to go. All 
Abaji with 28 now. His 11th 20 point game of the season to the shot by Pack. Yeah, and, and I know he's been hot, but you have to drive it, Ted, in that situation. He's had an unbelievable game. I believe they have added five tenths of a second, 1.1 for Kansas State. And they got to go to the length of the floor. And Bill Self telling them keep everything in front. Into Noel, the half court heave. A classic comeback by Kansas. And they wave goodbye to the.